Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 9 of this Let's Play, Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod, and we are playing Germany, the army with a state. In the last episode, uh, France and Italy, <laughs> that being Italy, that being France, come on Mordred, went to war with each other, which kind of provoked my own assault, because I was a little bit worried about France taking too much of the land. And France's armies are terrible. They have such low fighting strength at the moment, probably because of manpower issues inflicted by the 1.5 million casualties they've taken in killing just 150,000 of mine. So that's a thing which is definitely happening. Also, uh, Italy has been fighting against Socialist Republic of Italy. Um, I think that's the main reason they actually went to war, not so much to take over France, but it was incentive for me to start actually pushing, and that seems to be going really rather well. The other big difference is you'll notice now that we have the 4.1 million manpower, that is because we have finally got the Militarist Revival. Prussia's back, baby. Prussia's back. And we are now working towards the full recovery to get rid of the aftermath of the Black, Sunday, uh, Black Monday uh, penalty. I... oh... I've just realized, <laughs> I was going to say, I've installed the flickering flags mod fix, and I just realized I haven't actually enabled that. So I'm going to go away and do that real quick, and then I'll be right back. Right, so now I have the flickering fa flags fix, which is a mod you can find on Steam Workshop, and it does indeed seem to have um, fixed the issue. Uh, apparently Kaiserreich next update will include that mod by default, but if you're also having the flickering flags issue that I've been having, then it fixes it. Marvellous. Okay, so we have this small outpost of France to defeat over here. These guys actually have a bit... Uh, actually, no, they have a tiny bit more fighting strength than these guys. And we've just begun the next big push. Are you guys still getting preparation? You guys are also still getting preparation. That's fine. I mean, you were pushing kind of the last because we wanted to split this off. Decimetric radar. Many units rely on the element of surprise for their efficiency. Development of decimetric radar allows us to... Give them this advantage and also logistics. So it is still 38. Let's get encryption and military police. Yeah, for the occupation of France, we'll need them. You're actually losing that battle. Do I want to do anything about this? Well, I want you to start pushing, that's for sure. Not entirely convinced there's anything I can really do about it. Oh, you are going to hold there. Okay, so what is my navy doing right now? I don't actually remember. Do I have you? Did we just lose a big naval battle? I have a feeling we did just lose a big naval battle, did we not, against Britain? So they are down to just 70 ships. We have 200. Yeah, I have a feeling we did. Are you guys getting repaired? Is that what's happening? Yes. Although you are currently set to never repair, which should it's a bad idea. Now you're set to splitting, and we are fighting the Union of Britain fleet in the Baltic. Which they're going to win. Uh, no, they ran away. No, we were running to, to Kiel to actually repair in a decent port. Okay, nothing was lost. That's fine. We're losing a couple of the offensives down here, but that's mostly for our big push south. And we're winning enough of them that I'm comfortable with what's happening. Meanwhile, over here, it's not going quite as well, so let's add a little bit more pressure of our own. Unfortunately, if their ships start escaping, then I can't sink them. Submarines, what are you guys doing? You are currently fighting around there. And once you've dealt with that convoy, I want to put you up here. Maintenance Company 1, complete. So that's all of the maintenance companies. We still have a couple of months before we can actually start researching the next stuff. Um, I guess we could start working on anti-air and anti-tank. Doctrines, I still don't want to because we haven't reformed our military. We're getting all of those. We have all of these except for the synthetic oil. Is oil a problem? It's a bit of a problem, yes. Although with our slow construction speeds, there's not that much we can do about it. I think I... Mm, no, because we can just split, spread them out over like the entire area. 
So I think we are going to get artillery. We're going to start researching anti-tank just in case someone actually manages to industrialize and start fighting us with a reasonable number of tanks, which Russia might. No, oh, we are fighting over here. It's the French fleet. I really want you hunting down any of their units that try to retreat. Okay, you won that fight. So let's grab the convoy, uh, the submarines. I'm going to give you a new order. You're going to go convoy raiding here. And only there. Because we want to catch any of these guys that are trying to run away. Although, theoretically, we could go in both of those. And then we catch, like, all of the shipping. You know what? That's good. I like that. That's fine. Ooh, we're about to cut off another bit, although this is completely unguarded. Almost completely unguarded. We have pushed over a little bit more. Flanders is sending in more troops. Or rather, sending across more troops. Oddly. Whatever. Did we sink convoys? We did. Good. It kind of looks like Hungary actually has the upper hand against Austria. Which is... mind-boggling. Considering Austria has so many other troops. And they're now at peace with Italy. Meanwhile, what's going on over here? I think the syndicates of America are pushing back against the USA, while the Union state is definitely pushing into the syndicates. And actually, the United States starts with this little section here, which has been lost. So the United States is being pushed back, and in fact... Oh no, they do still have a port down here. Okay, you've been cut off. Let's just have all of you lot squish. And squish there as well. Are we catching their convoys? We are. Excellent. My cunning plan is working. Our popularity is rising. Due to the pop due to his popular policies, one of our local loyal ministers has managed to strengthen the ideology. I don't think we need it. We're at hundred percent already. Uh don't need it. Don't need to spend forty political power for that. I'm gonna already got it. Cool. French are actually putting up a fight considering how low their fighting strength is. Although we have just eroded this, so we are definitely pushing south. You're about to get pushed back. There are a lot of men here. We are bringing in reinforcements, I hope. No, we're not. Go here. Go, go. Yeah, you're in. Could potentially do with some more troops over on that side. Meanwhile, over here we do indeed continue to push south. Looks like we're having a lot of success over here on this side and not so much here. I think this is because this border is reinforced against Italy. And they've been sitting on that border rather than actually fighting us. That is a lot of French transports trying to get through. And a lot of French planes. Yeah, I need to move you lot. Here. Rebase you here. Uh, where you have a few small penalties. You're catching my submarine fleet, but they're just running. That's fine. I think we're going to fight that just fine. Uh, we have a lot of Navy experience. Of course we do, because we've been fighting a lot of naval battles. So we should be upgrading our naval ships. We're still two years away from a new model. So let's just upgrade one of the ones that we are using a lot of. Destroyer, light cruiser, or the battleship. I think we probably want to upgrade the battleships, because that's what we need. Let's upgrade the battleship. We'll go more of that, more of this. More armor, more guns. Reliability on ships is always so low penalty anyway. I don't really see the point. We don't need the extra range from engine. So let's do that. We're going to build one more of you. And then we're going to build the Scharnhorst Mark 1. Or Class A. Which is going to go to the battle... Oh crap, have they not been going to the battle fleet? They should have been going to the battle fleet. And you are now a low priority. Alright. 
Good. Continue. Have we seized control of the Baltic again? No. Are we still just repairing? Yes. Lots of repairing going on. Alright. Meanwhile, we are definitely pushing down there. We are struggling a little bit here. So we are continuing to push. There is a lot of men here. I'm hoping... Whoa, there's actually an animation for sinking a convoy. That's awesome. I'm hoping that we're sinking lots and lots of convoys. That would make me extremely happy. Okay, I think that you... You guys... Have done your job there. So we're going to say continue advancing to here. And go. The Schacht plan completion. With our civilian industry once again strong but not yet booming, we are required to take just a few more steps. Soon enough, German industry will tower above the rest of the world once more, as the steady influx of resources from the colonies assures a massive production boost. And we've also got decryption frequency analysis. Cool. All right, let's start on the Wilhelm Groner plan. There are a few men in the German Empire who understand military matters and logistics as well as William Groen sorry, Wilhelm Groner. The highly decorated former general su suggested a plan for revitalizing the economy by investing in our military industry. He claims that to get the economy running, people ne need to get to work. What better place than to start in the military industrial complex, governed by the state? Booyah. All right, we'll do that. And then another technology... We're going to wait. It's going to be wasting five days, but I can live with that. And hopefully it shaves more than five days off. Alright, you guys are trying to attack us, but we're still attacking you. Non-aggression pact from Italy. I don't think so. How close are the French to capitulation? Oh, they are on the verge. On the absolute verge. I'm actually kind of surprised it's taken this long. That's a big naval fight going on. I think it's the Entente still trying to land. Unfortunately, the Union of Britain actually has a fairly sizable fleet. Can I upgrade my tanks and do I want to? Uh, what am I thinking? I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have a look at the technologies. Uh, we are going to get the medium tank in 39. But this tank is still good for another three years. So yeah, we may as well upgrade the Panzer twos. Although it is the heavy tank that I'll be producing more of. To that upgrade? No, not until 41. So yeah, I think we are going to upgrade the heavy tank. Because I do intend to use those more. So if we go to this list, if we go to this list, and then the cross tractor heavy tank. We've already upgraded the Panzer A a little. Let's do the heavy tank this time. So we want more armor, bigger gun, more reliability so we're not having to constantly repair you, even more armor. Like, armor is the main thing. You are an infantry tank. So I think something along those lines. Your job is to make it much harder to kill the infantry. And then let's upgrade you to the Gross Tractor A. Literally the big tractor. <laughs> Great name. Okay. The offensive continues. Who's next after this? Union of Britain, Socialist Republic of Italy. We're definitely going to need those marines. Why are you not getting built? Huge shortage of infantry equipment. Yeah, we are short 11,000. Blimey. Um, we should probably do something about that. Although we are building as much as we can. We, in fact, have two sets up. We're just lacking industry. Once we got our civilian factories up and running, then we can switch to the military. But building that industry is slow. Ah, we're winning this fight now. Oh, maybe not. Report from Russia. A secret service reports that Russia plans to once again secure the Caucasus region. Such a drastic step means a direct threat to the stability of Eastern Europe, which was set by the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk. What shall we do? Let us... We don't care about the Caucasus. Uh, yeah, we do. There's oil over there. Let's 
Especially if I can take Azerbaijan. I'll let you be for now. I'll deal with uh, oil supplies with synthetics. Commune of France has capitulated. There it goes. Wilhelm II announced that the cowardly French nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. The French government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. The main forces are capitulated and the German Empire is now in control of the home area. Though the war against what remains of the Third International continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of Mittel Europa. And we did in fact get all of that land. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so you guys are my garrison force. You are going to have to garrison a bigger chunk of territory. Uh, do we need to garrison this bit? We have got naval superiority down there, so no, I don't think we do. What we do need, though, is to give you more troops. You need 18 divisions. Guard infantry. What's guard infantry? You're just militia, aren't you? Yes. You can go here. You and you, over here. Uh, none of you. Definitely not you. Uh, we could actually put the Swiss and the Ruthenians on support duty. So we'll give you over here. And then have the Swiss on garrison. You know what? I quite like that idea. You guys are on garrison duty with von Rundstedt. Actually, with us not controlling the Baltic, we could be naval invaded anywhere along here. We're going to have to extend our defensive position all the way along here, unfortunately. Alright. But we do control the Mediterranean, so this is fine. Minimum division's 30, we have 32. Is that actually defending all of the coast? No. No. We need 71 for that. Oh dear. Okay, so that's that being done. I can invite Deutsche Mittel Africa to the faction. Why are you not already in the faction? I mean, yeah, I will, but what? Yes. Without a doubt. Absolutely. 100%. What? Um, who else? Just them. They have joined. Alright, so we are very slightly low on oil, so I think that we need to increase our oil purchasing, though not from you. Mexico, um... Venezuela is probably the safer option here. Buy one oil from you. Alright, cool. Who's the next objective? It's going to have to be Britain, but that's not going to happen until our navy is actually capable of fighting them. Which right now they're not. They have a big detachment that's still being repaired. That's a lot of ships. I wish there was a way of getting detachments to rejoin fleets as they get repaired. So, like, you could rejoin. You four could rejoin. There's a couple of you. But I don't think you do it automatically. You have to wait until the entire fleet is done. Which is kind of annoying. Are we still sinking stuff? A little bit. What faction are you in? You're not in a faction. So we could declare war on the Italian Federation in order to get to the Socialist Republic of Italy. How's Russia doing? Are you saber-rattling saber at all? You have a lot of troops, but not much industry. Especially compared to us. We're a lot stronger than you are. Um, I do kind of want to go after the Italian Federation. I could also go after um, Austria-Hungary. Austria needs to join Germany. 
So I think that while we are rebuilding the navy to take down the Union of Britain, we go after Austria. We have the forces for it, without doubt. I'm just going to give you real names. Modal. No. Jaunty. Hat. You are Wilhelm. You are tanks. Rundstedt. You are garrison. And you are resistance. Also known as the police. Police. Do we have military police? No, we don't. We are still researching that. Okay. So. Let's have you. Over here. The objective of pushing through to here. Jaunty hat, you have the tanks, so you're going to be up here in the top bit. You start here and you come up to here. Your job is to cut through this. Crown Prince, you've also got some fast moving stuff, so you would do pretty well in here, I feel. And your main job is just to secure this flank. <coughs> Excuse me. So you guys do that. Tanks. I think I'm basically just going to put you here. The objective of taking Prague. Garrison's not doing anything and that's everyone. Okay. So that should be that entire front covered. I think we are going to just start justifying against you. We feel that Bohemia is rightfully part of in fact no I mean this is legit we, we legitimately think that northern Austria should be a part of Germany at this juncture okay once the construction is done I think I actually want to start focusing on dockyards so we can go after the Union of Britain Putting shipyards all along here. Uh, you are repairs, you need repairs, you need repairs, you need repairs, you need repairs. So do you, so do you, so do you. And you, and you, and you. And I don't want to build in the puppet. Are we suffering problems with resistance? Oh yeah, massive ones. You're telling me that you need 13 divisions. We're currently giving you six. Uh, we need more military police in that case. I'll give you 10 more. Just one step. And I would like you to appear here and to join that army. Cool. And the Mara Storm Division, aka Marines, you can start over here in Schleswig Holstein because that just seems appropriate. You are still waiting for a lot of infantry equipment though. We're going to need, yeah, 16,000. I think it's just because we are. Well, it's still only 1939. Like, World War II would not have started yet, and yet France has already fallen. So we, we have a bit of breathing space. I can now get the next technology. We are in 39. Repair rate. We do have a fair amount of repairing to do. Factory output 20% is always nice, plus the extra concentration, which allows us to build more stuff. I think once encryption is done... Oh, that's probably going to be for the research, actually. I think there's a research one in 39. We can double-check that in a moment. Uh, there is not. That is in 40. 
get better radar, but I don't think we need to. Let's get the repair rate. And speaking of repair rate, how is this going? Slowly but surely. And yeah, more stuff is needing repair all the time. Hungary has been annexed. Austrian Empire took 15 states. So suddenly Austria is looking a lot stronger. Uh, that's not a huge problem. Let's shift. Whoops. We'll let my minions deal with themselves. Your job is to push down there. I mean, really, you're just going to hold that northern line while we push in from the south. The EM remark, Führerreich. The German, the famous French, I just can't read today. The famous German writer and member of the Lost Generation Poets, Erich Maria Remark, has released a new book, The Fairy First Major of Alternate History in the German Empire. The story is a gripping tale about the life of a young Weltkrieg veteran trying to live in a shell-shocked and defeated Germany. In this timeline, Theodore Roosevelt and his Bull Moose Party win in the 1912 American presidential elections, leading to an American entry in the Weltkrieg and thus an entente victory. A defeated and partially occupied Germany is gripped by constant economic and political crises, witnesses the defeat of the White in the Russian Civil War, and is c coupled by a bitter and extremely nationalistic Adam Dressler and his German Workers' Party, who follow the ideology of the People's Socialism, which is actually just an extreme version of national populism. The novel ends at the beginning of a three-sided war between Dressler's New Reich, the Western Entente, and a Soviet Russia, led by Leon Trotsky. While many criticise it for being for large flaws in historical logic, Remark, def no, Remark defends his tale, spelt it differently here, saying that something like this could have happened in another universe, i.e. ours. Except it wasn't Dressler, it was Hitler. And it wasn't Trotsky, it was Stalin. It wasn't the Entente, it was the Allies. We are still sinking convoys, which is good. I wonder where Britain's getting most of their supply. So we could start convoy hunting around Britain, but that's dangerous, because they do tend to have a large navy present. Could I move any of my fleets over to assist? I mean, the Pacific, the Red Sea, and Singapore all do have large navies. And I have a feeling that's where a lot of my ships have been going to. Uh, to be fair, the battle fleet is big. It just needs repairing. That's a lot of destroyer ones. We're not building destroyer ones, are we? Uh, nope. We just don't build very many ships a year. It's definitely slow going. Oh, convoys. We have more than enough convoys. Let's turn you off. And focus on just these. I think we need to finish that battleship before we switch to that battleship. And then we do want to focus on the battleships, I think, with a couple of cruisers and destroyers thrown in from time to time. Yeah, I think that would be just fine. All right, well, I think that that is it for this episode. So we saw the fall of France. Uh, what's going to happen next time? Tune in and see. Thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying this series, then please do hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing, and if you have any tips or advice for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.